Hello. A lot of people say to me, Frank, I bet you're a lot more used to the short left hook to the chin than you are to the iambic pentameter. Well, nothing could be further from the truth, Harry. And to prove it, I'm gonna take on the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet, which I hope to knock off in 110 seconds, like I did Jerry Kurtz here. <laughs> but soft, what light from yonder window breaks, Harry? <laughs> it is the east and Juliet is the sun, you know what I mean? <laughs> the brightness of her cheek doth shame the stars and me thinks with her right hand she could be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. <laughs> oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. I haven't seen thee since the wedding. Oh, Romeo. <laughs> he is my lady, he is my love. <laughs> Oh, to hold the hand inside that glove. Behold her girlish frame, so graceful and so slender. Oh, to kiss those lips so gentle and so tender. Juliet, weren't thou not afraid to come out tonight? No, Romeo. It would have taken six baboons to keep me inside tonight. Oh, Romeo. You know what I mean, Harry? <laughs> Juliet, let us thank God that we are together tonight. <laughs> oh, Romeo, but we also have to thank my manager, Terry Lawless. <laughs> Barry McGuigan's manager, Mr. Eastwood. <laughs> and the Pope, because he's murder, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alas, the bell, parting is such sweet sorrow. I wish we could get married quick so we can do some bonking tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, Romeo, I'll marry you, no doubt, because I've read it in the play and it said so. There's a little bit of poison, but apart from that, no problem, Romeo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the real Frank Bruno. <laughs> All the ad libbing you did at the end, man, it was, it was totally wicked. Well, Shakespeare's my game, you know what I mean, Harry? Come on, let's go for a curry. Yeah. <laughs>